this is Alex from uh, pseudoadmins.com. Today I'm going to show you how to add or configure swap space in Arch Linux. Now I think this process is pretty uniform uh, across all distri distributions, but um, I'm not positive, so for now I'm just going to call this the Arch Linux uh, guide to adding swap space. So the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to check out uh, a program called HTOP. Now you probably don't have HTOP uh, by default in Arch if you haven't added it, so you can pacman s HTOP. And I already have it, so I just reinstalled it, but we're going to check it out now. So as you can see, it's a system monitoring tool, and at the top left, we've got CPU, me uh, mem, memory, or RAM and swap. So if we look at swap we can see that the uh, first field is what we're using and the second field is what we have total. So we're using 0k out of 0k of swap space and what we want to do is make sure that uh, the right field of 0k here has something there so that we have some kind of swap space. So I'm going to control C out of there and what I'm going to do is ls be looking this is going to show us all of our storage devices and as you can see I've got this SDB storage device it's two gigabytes this is the disk I'm going to use uh, for swap um, as you can see I don't have a um, partition on this disk so that's the first thing we're going to do we're going to use a F disk to create a partition so clear and F disk dev db. Now I'm going to hit N like a new and I'm just going to hit enter through all of the things it asks me and that's going to set everything to the default. Uh, the default is uh, going to be uh, just creating a a single partition in the size of the entire device so it's going to be a two gigabyte partition now uh, now I just have to hit W and it's going to save and exit so clear and LS be okay again and as you can see now we have SDB1 and that's the partition so now I have to create a swap file system on that partition so we're going to do MK swap dev SDB1 and so that shows us uh, it's set up swap space. Now we're going to swap on dev sdb1. And that'll do it. So now we look at htop. And as we can see, now swap space, we're using 0k out of uh, 2 gigabytes. And that was the size of the device. So we were pretty much successful here. Now, I'm going to control C out of here again. Now, what we may need to make sure is that the swap space mounts um, every time we beat, every time we boot. So, otherwise, if we just rebooted right now like this, we would go back to HTOP and see that there was no swap space available. So, in order to get that working, we need to uh, modify a file called fstat in the Etsy directory. So, we take a look at cat Etsy. Fstad. And as you can see, there's one line, it's wrapping here, but uh, we've got the name of the device, where it mounts, the um, file system type, and then some information about how it should be um, how it should be mounted. So we're going to add a line to the Fstab file with echo. And it's going to be, remember the name of the device, so dev sdb and the partition 1. And it's going to be, next field is uh, uh, where we mount the partition, and this is swap space, so it doesn't mount anywhere. So we're going to go none, and the, um, the, file system type which is swap and the options which is SW for swap and then zero zero okay now we close the quote T 
two um, greater than carrots. And at C, F sub. And we can cat F stab again. At C, F stab. And as you can see now, we have added this line here. Uh, if it's the only line here and this was somehow removed during that, then you probably only used one carrot here. And uh, you need to fix that because next time you boot, you're not going to have a good time. So anyways, now it should be good. What I'm going to do last thing is just uh, power off the system, reboot it, and show you that uh, the swap space is still there. Okay, now I just rebooted the system and we're going to check out, moving a little slow. Okay, we're gonna check out the terminal and we're going to look at uh, HTOP to make sure that uh, the swap space mounted correctly again. So HTOP and there we are. So our entry in the fstab file worked and uh, now every time we boot up, it will automatically mount the swap space, and it's uh, it's working. So uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, yep, see you later.